Welcome to Premath. In this video tutorial, I am going to show you super easy way to find the roots of a quadratic equation whose sum is negative 58 and the product is negative 1095. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's identify the sum. In our case, sum is negative 58. So I'm going to put S. S stands for sum S equal to negative 58. And I'm going to call P for a product. P is negative 1095. All right. And now the very first thing that we are going to do is look at this S sum, which is negative 58. I am going to take the half of this, this thing. I am going to divide this one by 2. So negative 58 divided by 2 is going to give us negative 29. So therefore, I am going to put H. H stands for the half of this sum is negative 29. Just keep in your mind. And now we are going to perform a couple of steps. The very first step is use the easy formula that I wrote down k square equal to h square minus p. So we want to find the value of k. So write down k square equal to h in our case is negative 29 so i'm going to put down negative 29 square minus and in our case p is negative 1095 all right go ahead and let's simplify this thing so negative 29 square is going to give us 841 and here negative and negative become positive 1095. Let's add them together. That is going to give us 1936. So our k square turns out to be this one. And we want to solve for k. So we can undo this square by taking the square root on both sides. So this square and square root, this is gone. So k turns out to be, if we take the square root of this one, that is going to give us positive or negative 44. So thus our k value turns out to be a positive or negative 44. And here is our final step. Our roots are going to be h plus minus k. In our case, h is negative 29. Let's write it down. Negative 29 plus or minus k 44. And that is our answer. So what that really means is we are going to split these two numbers along these signs. So the first one is going to be negative 29 plus 44 and the other one is going to be negative 29 minus 44. One with a positive sign and one with the negative sign. So this is going to give us positive 15 and the other one is going to be negative 73. So thus our roots are 15 and negative 73 and if we add them we are going to get negative 58 and if we multiply them we are going to get negative 1095. And for your information here are the steps that we perform in our calculations. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.